mushroom terrine, cheese and leek souffle, crepe Suzette. I love French food, but it does have a reputation as a cuisine quite tricky to cook. So, I hope the chef knows what they're doing. Liz, you're the chef today. Put the apron on and come into the kitchen. <sighs> Pressure is on. Actually, there's no pressure at all, but I am expecting plenty of fun and some fabulous cooking tips. Tambourine Cooking School on Tambourine Mountain offers classes in all kinds of cooking, including French cuisine. Terry Taylor was classically trained in the art of French cooking. Is it a misnomer that French cooking is so tricky? No, I think it's easy because I, I learnt the French way um, when I did my apprenticeship and as long as you just start and um, learn the basic sources, the basic stocks, the cutting techniques. And so once you've learnt that good training French cooking, you can branch out into other cuisines. These figs today, are they found locally? Yes, they're from my neighbours. Your neighbours? <laughs> they're, they're called brown turkeys, is the name of those figs. And uh, also Tambourine Mountain is famous for rhubarb. And, uh -huh. and avocados. Pretty much anything we can grow up here. They talk about the 100 mile diet, which just means eat locally. And if I was going to have the 100 mile diet anywhere in the world, it would be right here on Tambourine. Our appetizers are done. Now on to the mushroom to read. That's the only thing I always feel like our viewers are missing out on. They've got all the colour and the pictures, but the smell. <laughs> and then the other thing that um, the French have a lot of, French cooking requires alcohol <laughs> and with this dish we're going to flame it in brandy by burning off the, the alcohol in the brandy it just takes the bitterness out of and plus it looks good and it smells fantastic <laughs> so are you ready yes. are we ready to flambe all right now we're chefing <laughs> while terry assembles the terrine it's on to prepping dessert now robin you're looking after the crepe suzette mix I understand you've done a few of these classes. What is it that you enjoy about them? Well, I find them, um, I've done about three of them now, the Moroccan one, the Italian one, and Terry just explains things so well and simply, and they are really simple things to do at home. I've used so many of her recipes at home. My husband, more of these. Uh, yeah, I don't think my partner these. will be complaining about this class today. But... No. As much fun as we've had in the kitchen, I think this is going to be the highlight of the day, sampling all our hard work in this beautiful environment at a table full of new friends. What do you think, everyone? Ooh la la. Ah, <laughs> very appropriate. <laughs> if you come to one of Terry's classes at Tambourine Mountain, then why not keep that French provincial flavour going? Witches Falls Cottages and Bed and Breakfast are a short drive from the school. Sweet stone cottages looking very European are hidden among scented gardens. Each has a queen size bed, fireplace and double spa. Complimentary port and chockies greet you on arrival. And a gourmet or barbecue breakfast is delivered each morning to your hideaway. Love the daily fresh baked bread. Witches Falls Cottages and Tambourine Cooking School are both at beautiful Tambourine Mountain, about an hour from Brisbane. Check the Witches Falls website for rates and special packages, and Terry's cooking classes start from as little as $66 per person. <laughs>